Well, this is a surprise. Taylor Momsen from The Pretty Reckless is on the phone. How are you doing, Taylor? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you, man? Uh, I'm great. You know, uh, just uh, enjoying the brand new single you guys put out. Uh, what a time to do a new record, right? <laughs> you got a captive audience. We, we've we got, it's, it's crazy times, man. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Uh, but it's, I, I feel like music saves music. It certainly saves my life over and over and it helps. So, you know, we, we finished the record right before all this madness started and there's like, I can't just hold on to this for who knows how long. So let's put it out in the world and then maybe, you know, maybe put some joy into some people's lives into their day. Right. Well, the new song, Death by Rock and Roll, is out now. Uh, it's definitely got kind of that old school rock and roll vibe, which is uh, something that's kind of missing these days. Everything's a little bit, you know, a little growly, a little this, a little that. This is definitely kind of more of a bluesy tip. It's got, you know, definitely that that regular rock and roll element that uh, might be missing from current stuff. Is that what you guys were going for in the studio? I mean, I don't, I don't know if we were going for that exactly. It's just kind of how the song goes. Uh, right. When we wrote it. But, but yeah, I mean, all our influences are, are certainly older bands, you know, from the Beatles to Zeppelin to the Who to Soundgarden to Pink Floyd. And, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But uh, with Death by Rock and Roll, we just, it, we really kind of, that song is, it's an anthem and a battle cry for rock and roll of just live life your own way, go out your own way, don't let anyone stay differently. It's, it's really about the mentality and, and the ethic that is rock and roll, which is how I live my life. Right. And, you know, well, speaking of your life, I mean, obviously, you know, it's the story that everyone's kind of heard about you. Oh, she's a child actor and now she's trying to be a rock and roll star. But you actually are a rock and roll star because you have the chops, <laughs> you know. So it's it, it was that weird for you at the beginning, because obviously coming from maybe like a more Hollywood place, were you trying to be pushed to do maybe like more pop stuff? Or I mean, people were like, What's, well, don't do rock and roll. That's, you know, that's, you know, why, why try that? But that that's you, right? That's entirely me. Yeah. I mean, I think in the beginning there was, there's, there's definitely a bit, I mean, it feels like so long ago at this point, it feels mm -hmm. like a different lifetime ago, but in the beginning there was definitely preconceived notions and, uh, and you know, that this was maybe some sort of fleeting side project thing. And it was, it was like, no, 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 guys, this is, this is my identity. This is, this, I, I love playing music. I, I live and breathe rock and roll. Like, <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is, this is all I know how to do. And, and uh, you know, everything I strive for and I, I try to do it well. Um, and so, you know, 10 years later, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now, so you are obviously on uh, shows like the gossip girl and all that. Uh, now, is that ever creep into your uh, mind? Like, Hey, uh, I want to go back to acting or are you just fully committed now? A hundred percent. You're never going to act again. Uh, and, and rock and roll is going to be what you do from here on out. Well, rock and roll is forever a mainstay. I will never not play rock and roll music. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be playing rock and roll music till I'm dead. Um, but <laughs> I mean, I, for a long time, I said I'd never act again, but you know, I've, I've gotten older now and, and who, who knows? It's not something I'm actively pursuing in any way, but I'll never say never, I guess. Okay. So the door is open, and obviously you kind of get to satisfy that a little bit by doing music videos and, and being involved in that kind of creative co concepts too, right? Yeah. Well, it's just so different. I mean, it's it's so my vision, uh, you know, music. It's, it's from the visuals, to, it, from the music to the visuals to the live shows to everything. It's, it's so 100%, you know, I'm in charge of, of all of it. So it's uh, really getting to see that through. It really feeds my creative soul, whereas it's acting is, you know, it's mu it was much more of a job for me of, of you know, kind of show up, do, do the job, go home. Like, it, you know, I'm not involved in any of the creative of it. Right. Yeah. So this is definitely uh, a singular vision on your end where you don't have to collaborate necessarily uh, with a director or, you know, uh, producers or anything like that. It's just all about what's coming from you and the guys in the band. Exactly. It's just, it's so personal that you can't beat it. Right. Now, um, let's talk about uh, your, you know, as you said, rock and roll saving your life and all that. Uh, you guys are just only releasing the single right now, but there is a full album done. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right. So uh, when will we possibly hear the rest of that? I don't have an exact date for you yet. Okay. Um, just because we're living in very unprecedented times and mm -hmm. everything is kind of up in the air right now. Um, but I can tell you that Death by Rock and Roll, the song is out, obviously. Right. That is, and that is simply, 
I mean this when I say it, it is simply the tip of the iceberg. It is the first song on the record, and it just it just takes off from there. So we're going to be releasing more songs and stuff before the full album. So we're, we're not going away. We're pretty reckless is back. This is just the start. Okay. Now, now uh, obviously with the, uh, the album being completed and you being in quarantine, I guess that means if you guys have any other new ideas, those probably won't be coming out anytime soon because you guys have already got this uh, in the bag, so to speak. Yeah. I've actually been trying to stop myself from, Switch writing to me is such a it's a, it's a switched mindset, right. um, and if I delve into that mindset, then I won't be able to go back into I don't know, promotion mode or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> right, <laughs> um, calling DJs randomly so, in the afternoon. So, <laughs> yeah, well, just one so internal, like you know, the writing process so internal, and the other one's so external. So mm-hmm. you have to kind of there. It's two different sides of my brain. But uh, but I am working on trying to figure out how to do visuals in quarantine because I really want to make a video for Death by Rock and Roll and, and complete the circle that way because to me that's that's so important um, and so I'm not I'm I'll be damned if I let this <laughs> if I let this <laughs> make it so we can't we can't finish it and so I'm, I'm working on it now I've, I've got a. Uh, I've got some ideas percolating, so stay tuned. All right, and then as far as the uh, actual recording uh, of the songs that you've got now, uh, you were able to work with uh, some of your heroes. You guys have collaborated before, but uh, the guys from Soundgarden, Kim and Matt, uh, tell me about that process and uh, any of the songs that you guys recorded together. Um, it's awesome, man. I First of all, I, I love those guys uh, so much. Uh it, I had this song called uh, <clears throat> I had this song called Only Love Can Save Me Now, which is the song on the album. And uh, I sent it to him, and I was like, "Guys, guys, this this is begging for you guys to play on this. Like, this is this is right up your alley. Like, are you in?" Right. And they said yes. And uh, we flew to Seattle, and we actually we recorded at London Bridge Studios, which is where they made uh, Soundgarden made Louder Than Love. And, Pearl Jam's pen was made there. Wow. So just to get to walk into such an iconic studio with the guys from those bands of the records that I love and create something new with them was such an incredible experience. And, I mean, just watching them play was just the coolest thing ever. I mean, they're they're gods in my book. So it was it was really a, a highlight of not just the record, but of, of life getting to getting to work <laughs> with them. Well, you've obviously toured with Soundgarden, so you guys have had a relationship uh, prior to uh, Chris Cornell's death. But I've actually talked to Kim before, uh, and he is like the coolest guy ever. Uh, and he like he remembers stuff from like twenty twenty five years ago. I was talking to him about a show uh, I went to see in Phoenix with him, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, the guys from Guns N' Roses came out with plastic, you know, blow up sex dolls on stage during our set." Yeah, that was that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> He does. He's got a, he, he's got a, a plethora of knowledge and memories. I'm like, how how are you storing all this up in your brain? I forget what I did yesterday. <laughs> right, right. Well, also on the album, uh, you're working with uh, uh, Morello, Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine. Uh, and then I, I was talking yeah. to uh, 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 what's her name? Oh gosh, I can't, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, from in this moment. Um, uh, oh, Maria? Maria, yeah, Maria Brink from In This Moment. And, you know, you guys did a song together. Is it cool when you get to kind of stretch yourself and collaborate with other musicians kind of outside your circle? It is. I mean, to me, collaborations are always, I find them, t- I try to make them very unique and special. Um, it's not something I like to do often mm-hmm. because I think that, especially in the modern age of music it seems to be you know fe- there's a lot of featuring right so and so yeah and so and so and it just becomes very redundant to me mm-hmm. um so for for me collaborations really have to kind of they have to come about organically and if it's not if, if the idea doesn't come about because like the, the way the reason uh or you know matt and kim are on only love can save me now because they were going to make that song better uh tom's on a song called and so it went uh, that I'd written and I sent it to him. And I'm like, dude, will you play this solo? Because this is begging for your voice. Like his, he's got, he's, you know, in my book, one of the best guitar players in the world. And he has such a unique, such a unique sound and, and voice and distinct uh, character that when he comes in, you know, that's Tom Morello. And it's like, dude, either you play it or we're going to do a bad Tom Morello impersonation. Right. <laughs> like, this is asking for you. Yeah. So he, 
<laughs> so he said, yeah, and uh, and I'll tell you, obviously you haven't heard it yet, but he comes in and he just wails. It's, it's everything you want it to be. Well, that's cool. Now, uh, speaking of everything we want it to be, uh, obviously in this coronavirus uh, reality that we're living in, we're not getting live music the way we want it to be. Uh, what are your plans with the Pretty Reckless to go out uh, at this point? Obviously, uh, everything for this year is pretty much canceled. Is that correct? Uh, unfortunately, yes. Um, I mean, technically, I think we still have a tour in September that has not been that was postponed from. I don't know. I can't even keep track now. It's right. Just, it keeps postponing and postponing. But uh, I don't know. I'm hearing 2021 is what I'm hearing, which is a real bummer. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's it's very difficult to release music and not be able to complete the the full circle and play mm-hmm. it live. Like it's 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 real difficult. But uh. But it's you know safety comes first, and and this are it's just, it's scary times. It's so unprecedented, and I mean just I don't I don't think any, you know no one really knows how to how to feel about the situation the world's in right now. So it's you know uh, music's going to have to wait for a minute the live side of it. But right. uh, when it comes back, you know it'll be hopefully you know bigger than bigger and better than ever because people have had to wait for so long. Right. uh, My argument is that it actually might be better because, you know, sometimes a band like you guys, the Pretty Reckless, or even a band that, you know, of of a certain stature, like a Pearl Jam, you know, they release new music and then they immediately go out on tour. And maybe the the songs or the, the music doesn't saturate to the audience, uh, you know, quite as quickly. Now there might be this little gap where the audience will be able to take in this new music. And then when you do go out there, you'll be able to kind of see the reaction and that the people know the songs already or they can't wait to hear the new stuff as opposed to, okay, oh, this is a new one, you know, time to get a beer, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, it might add a whole new level of excitement. Yeah, I think so. And then I think, you know, there's going to be kind of a, a deluge of uh, of creativity. I mean, everybody's kind of maybe holding off a little bit. You know, you guys are teasing us with Death uh, Death by Rock and Roll. Uh, and all these other bands are working on stuff during the quarantine. Once everything is you know, full bore and, and we, we can go, uh, I think there's going to be just so much out there. It's going to be like kind of a smorgasbord for uh, for rock fans. Exactly. I yeah. mean, it's it, it, that's. It, I think that's that's the whole point. Is that you know you can't keep rock and roll down. Rock and roll is rock and roll is the the guy that you can keep kicking him all you want, but he's, he's never gonna. He's like Rocky. He's never gonna right. go down. So <laughs> I feel like live live music's the same thing. You know, it's it's you can't. It, it needs to exist in the world. It feeds souls. It, you know, it's 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 so important. Like to me, it's it's like. It's just as important as, as oxygen and food and you know anything else you need to survive. So musicians, we'll figure it, we'll figure out a way to make it work. But right. I can't. You know, I didn't join a I didn't join a band to not play. So <laughs> right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Well, Taylor Momshin, she's the uh, Adrian of rock and roll. Yo, Adrian. Yo, Taylor. <laughs> hey taylor uh how, where can people find you on social media and all that and the pretty reckless as well uh well it's instagram it's instagram twitter is all just my name taylor momson and then there's band accounts as well the pretty reckless uh is instagram so i'm just saying this real badly instagram's at the pretty reckless and at taylor momson twitter is at tpr official and at taylor momson and facebook is the same thing and uh and then the website is com. if you want to keep up to date on all the all the new stuff happening. Right. Check that out and, uh, and yeah. And that's where they can get the single as well as it's available for download? You can get the single on Spotify and Apple Music and Amazon and, you know, all, all that good stuff. And, uh, and uh, there's also a very cool 7-inch vinyl, exclusive Ooh. limited edition vinyl for sale on com. if you want to. If that's your thing. All right. Yes. Yeah, uh, fire up those record players. Get the needle out. <laughs> exactly. I think it sounds better on vinyl, personally. It's warmer. It is warmer, but it's just not as mobile. But that's okay. You know, you got to have both. You have to have both. That's how you buy both. You buy both. <laughs> exactly. You got to have both. One's, one's a collector's item. Who knows? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, Taylor Momsen, it's so great to talk to you. We look forward to seeing you uh, when you come back to Arizona at some point in the future with the Pretty Reckless. I really appreciate your time and uh, be safe out there. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Stay safe.